On September 25th, two teams of CSR met on the boiling hot tarmac of MCO to determine who will represent the station in the ramp relay finals. The rules were simple. All right, I will run through the rules of the relay one more time. You're gonna begin with catering. Your caterer will cater two of each kind of tray. You're gonna drive through the obstacle course one time. Then you will proceed back here. The second runner will run through the whole course again. Okay, maybe not that simple. Basically, a six-man team must load six catering trays properly, then drive a tug through three laps of an obstacle course, adding and unloading a baggage cart on every lap. The fastest time wins. The competition is the brainchild of operations agent Micah Davis. I was doing security one morning, and I just had this flash of, wouldn't it be so fun to have some kind of a competition to see who could do this the fastest and that the fastest? I went into Mike Shriver's office and he was so excited. He's very, very much about competition and, and all of that. And so he said, let's go for it. It's been like for like a month since they were picking the team. Everybody was picking their team and it was like a challenge, a lot of talk, back talk, everything. A lot of trash talking? Yeah, I trashed a lot of it. But the competition isn't just fun and games. By doing these competitions this way, we see that a bag runner's slowness affects what, how fast a plane can be loaded, or somebody's untidiness when stacking a plane affects how fast it can be offloaded. The winner will go on to face the best of the best from the Milwaukee and Baltimore stations in October. Team Stacy, oh. captained by Stacy Johnson, was the first to take the field. On your mark, get set. Manny Santano got the team off to a quick start, throwing drinks around like he was mad at them. My grandmother caters faster than that. Come on. First runner Mike Cardona made good time to the belt loader, where offloader Antonio Holly demonstrated the skills that pay the bills as Jose Colon stacked. Almost there, almost there. Come on, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Second runner Kenny White and anchor Lewis Cardona go. put the pedal to the metal and finished with a blazing fast time of 1360. That was a good job right there. Oh, way to go! We're gonna reign victorious, and I'm very proud of my team. As our squad prepared to take Woo! the field, Team Lisa's substitute captain, Kasima Perry, was undaunted. Why we know he got this in the bag? From the opening seconds, Jenny Arazo tapped into her girl power to show the boys how it's done. Yeah! yeah. Do it for the women! Show them who's boss! Show them who's boss! First runner, Corey Brantley, whipped the tug like a rented mule. <laughs> Let's go! At the belt loader, Offloader Ho Chin Cho and stacker Blake the Animal Tobin tag team the baggage with blazing speed. <laughs> we will rock you! Rock you! For the finish, Ryan Briggs did double duty as a second runner and anchor. While the time was yet to be determined, one thing was clear. The competitors left everything they had on the tarmac. In the break room, the competitors awaited the final tally of the times. First, Team Stacy with a best time of 13 minutes, 16 seconds. And Team Lisa with Stanin Kasima as team captain, 13 minutes and 57 seconds. The winner is Team Stacy. Yeah! <laughs> If anybody is interested in doing a ramp relay or a ramp Olympics of their own, please feel free to contact me, Micah Davis, and I'll be happy to send you whatever that we have. Uh, I am a CI and an operations agent here in Orlando.